Honestly, great minds think alike because mine's about an essay too. Um, I took an AP language test a couple weeks ago. I don't know what it is, but I think of 20 million other things except the test. Amen. <laughs> Tick tock, tick tock, time is running out. What is your position on the relationship between certainty and doubt? I'm certain I'll never need to know the square root of pi for anything, and I doubt I'll ever be the biggest optimist in the room. I'd like to say I'm a glass half full kind of person, but I know I'm a glass half empty, and I'm hoping this imaginary cup isn't leaking, because that means I'll be a mess to clean up later. Kind of like how my mouth makes a mess out of everything. <laughs> that was a run-on sentence, or would it be a run-on thought? Because these words are my thoughts. I hate thinking my thought that I forgot, kind of like the next line to this poem, I ran out of room on my hand. <laughs> Tick tock, tick tock, this is in no way relevant to the prompts. Tick tock, the mouse ran at the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran. Shit. Focus. <laughs> Think. Neither can exist without the other, that's a start. Kind of like the head start the rabbit had, but slow and steady wins the race. Not for you, dear, pick up the pace. Tick tock, I can hear my inner clock. Sometimes I feel I have the attention span of a goldfish. One, state your claim. Two, refer to the text. Three, I'm never going to finish this essay. <laughs> Tick tock. The timer taunts me. I squint my face up in concentration, kind of like when I finished that bitter pomegranate tea this morning. <laughs> Write the fucking essay! <laughs> my hand flies across the page like sparrows in the sky, and when I hear time is up, it's all I can do to not throw my pen across the room and crawl into a fetal position to... Wait. <laughs> to nurse my throbbing temples. P.S. Yes, the attention span of a goldfish is three seconds. <laughs> oh!